Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Root Tech Talks. In this tutorial, the tutorial 3 of Groovy language, we are going to learn about variables and operators used in Groovy language. So in our first program, we have seen that we can define the variables using the word def. So if you say def employee code, def employee name, def salary, this can be used, employee code can be used as an alphanumeric value or a numeric value or alpha value, alphabet value. Similarly, employee name and salary can be used to store alphabets or numbers. We can even use the normal definitions like int or the double, float, string, char for using these variables in Groovy. So you can see Groovy is a flexible language. It does not require semicolon. It does not require each and every variable type to be mentioned. You can mention it with the def word. Even to print a line, you can just give print ln and you can remove the brackets. It still works. Let's execute this. Our program is executed. You can even use the single quotes instead of double quotes for the string. So if I click and run this program, it ran. You can write mere print for execution of the print statement. We can give the values to these variables, say for example 901 to the employee code, employee name as XYZ and salary as say 5000 and we can print this, print employee code, employee name and salary to print this in the new line we will mention ln over here and we will execute this so it has executed our two statements one is hello world and second is the employee code employee name and salary right so if you see it is very flexible language which does not require much of mandatory syntax details like the semicolon or quotes etc. Also it can take def as definition of the variable. Let's learn about operators in Groovy. There are these many operators that I have mentioned here arithmetic operators, unary operators, assignment arithmetic operators, relational operators, logical operators, bitwise operators, conditional operators which are used in Groovy. As you know in any language why do we use operators? We use operators to compare two variables values. For example if a is equal to 2 and b is equal to 5 we can compare and check whether a is greater than b or b is smaller than a or using normal arithmetic op operators we can see the outputs of two additions or two subtractions anything so we will see how these operators are used in groovy to learn about arithmetic operators in Groovy, we will see the examples. So if I say addition of two numbers and I define two variables x is equal to 5 and y 
is equal to 4 and I define one more variable as z. I write here addition equals to plus z and I mention here z is equal to x plus y. I'll remove this and if we execute this we will get addition as 9 x plus y. If you see here I haven't used semicolon somewhere I have used semicolon I haven't used any value for this z variable I used values for these I have used def for all these to define the variables println with single quotes so you can see how flexible groovy language is so this way this is the first operator that we have seen that is arithmetic operator here we can say minus or say divide or multiply so these all are arithmetic operators which you use for the outputs so if x multiply by y is arithmetic operator next is unary operator unary operator is used to actually add or increment value so to check unary operator we can say that z is equal to plus x and if i print z it will give me the same value as x is if i say z is equal to minus x and i print this it will give me what it will give me it will give me the same value as x is why because it is not changed it is plus so if i say here plus plus x and if i say here minus minus x then the value will increment or decrement by one if i execute this the value is incremented by one and then again decremented by one and now the value is same as the earlier so this is unary operator let's learn about the next operator assignment arithmetic operator where the arithmetic assignment will be done so here i will use x plus equal to 2 so it will add 2 into x so if i say print x i will for now comment this and if we execute this what will be the output output will be the x plus 2 is equal to 7 x is 5 plus 2 is equal to 7 so if we execute this it will give us output this is assignment arithmetic operator where we are assigning some value by using the arithmetic operator to it next we are going to learn is relational operator relational operator shows the relationship between two in relational operator we will see how the relationships are shown here so i'll take z is equal to x equal equal y if it is true z will include the value of x and y relationship so if x is equal equal y it will include z will include the value true if x is not equal equal to y the z value will be false so if we see the value of z it will give us false because x is we are checking x is equal equal y but x is not equal to y x is 5 y is 4 and hence the value of z is false 
if we see i'll copy this and if we check whether x is not equal to y and we store the value in z now it will give us the value as true because x is actually not equal to y right the value is true so these are the relational operators equal equal not equal similarly we can take the value x greater than y is x greater than y it will check if x is greater than y and it will give the value in z we'll see x is 5 y is 4 so x is greater than y so what will be the value of z it will be true right so similarly we will check the value as x less than y so is x less than y so the value will be false because x is not less than y so our next value is false similarly you can check the relational operators equal equal not equal less than greater than less than or equal to i will mention it here in the comments less than or equal to or greater than or equal to these are the relational operators so in this tutorial we have learned about some more features of groovy how flexible groovy is and out of these operators we have learned about few operators like arithmetic operators unary operators assignment arithmetic operators and relational operators in the next tutorial we will learn logical operators bitwise operators and conditional operators in groovy language so stay tuned and keep learning